Yo people, it's your girl Laughter. Welcome back to my mini home studio inside my bedroom. As you may or may not know, I've been doing a series of tutorials for beginners to Logic Pro X. I've done setting up Logic, recording in Logic, and now we're gonna go on to the early steps of mixing. So I'm gonna be focusing on two stock plugins within Logic Pro X. That's the compressor, and the EQ. What's nice about these plugins is they're actually quite accurate and they do get things like sounding great. So don't think you have to spend a lot of money on new plugins when you're just starting out because yeah, I, I couldn't afford it. So you can get just as a great mix to listen back to, play to your friends, your teachers, whoever it is um, with the plugins that are already here. Now, let me, let me play you what I did that's already mixed with several plug plugins to show you that you can get a good mix. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come see cut breast. I'll know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like that. I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks, moving homes, I was stressed. Okay, so that's a pretty decent mix. How did I get to that? At the start of your mix, you always start off with an EQ before you compress your vocals. It's just standard to do that and it's worth knowing that. Later on, throughout the mix by the way, you do add more compressors and more EQs in. But at the start of the mix, what you're trying to do is get rid of all unwanted sounds. So we do something called subtractive EQ. Let's get started. So how I got the mix channel up is by pressing just X on the keyboard and then select the channel that you're actually mixing on which is this one here. This will come up and you just, you realize it's a lighter shade of gray to highlight that's the one that you'll, you'll be mixing. Just press the downward arrow, scroll down, and you're gonna find the channel EQ mono. And um, the reason it's ticked, because I've already selected it. And we're always gonna be mixing our vocals, majority of the times, in mono. So when you open up the EQ, it's gonna look something like this. When I first looked at this, it was daunting. It's not as bad as you think. We want to get rid of our transient sounds and the room sounds and some whistly sounds. That's what you're looking for in this. The first thing you do always, right, you're going to get rid of as much bottom end as possible. This bottom end, anything from, let's say, 60 onwards is unwanted. You don't want it. 50 onwards, 60. But as a female, I usually take off up to 500 in the 500 range. This just means anything down here, these frequencies won't be picked up and it's usually muddy sounds that are at the bottom. So at the start of every mix, you need to get rid of that muddy sound. Otherwise it's just gonna sound, I don't know, it's just not gonna sound nice. It's not gonna sound clean. So let's play it. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come see cut breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. So that's a lot nicer already to listen to. Um, it's got rid of that harsh, abrupt, uh, like kind of frequency that just jumps out on you. It's already kind of compressed the vocal really and squashed it. Okay, for me, that's where it sounds nice on my vocals. Male vocals may want to go a bit beneath that again, that's down to you. So let's play it without to show you again. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Weird. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C cup breast, but I don't mean you could come see cup breast. Just know that I'm not just me. Okay, so that sounds great. What you do now with the remainder of these circles here is you're going to, as you're playing the music, just kind of lift and search for unwanted frequencies. So let, and then you're going to bring it down slightly. So let's do that. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a... So remember we're listening out for that kind of whistly, weird sound, like room, like transient sounds we don't want. And you're just going to drag it down. No more than two, minus two, three dB. You don't want to get rid of too much vocals. You can also... I'll show you something now. Let's play it. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come see cut breast. I just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like that. So what did I do there was show you that you can basically focus on specific ranges. I'm focusing on this area in particular and just got rid of it right? And that kind of, I guess, helps make your vocal sound a bit more natural as well. If you're doing wide band EQ, where I had this wide arm literally just dragging with my keyboard, you're getting rid of all of here, okay? Where I just was only focused on the bit that was sounding bad to me, and I've just squashed it, okay? We're going to do the rest. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. 
Yeah, I got a big batty and a C cut breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I got beats on there. I just made now in a mix usually this part here is like from here onwards it's your top end of your vocals these are like your lower end of your vocals right your top end is where you'll find your sibilance okay where you get that kind of brightness in your vocals at the start of a mix you don't really want to be turning things up okay you want to be getting rid of it, it would even make your s's and p's sound a lot harsher so i would literally just turn this down a little bit I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just... So I would leave that there. Later on in the mix, I might put on another EQ and turn this up, okay, to give it that brightness. But what we've just done now is called subtractive EQ. We've got rid of unwanted sounds. Wasn't that hard, was it? That's quite easy. You just listen out, okay, you just want to get rid of the muddy sounds and those whistles and so forth. Now we're just going to move on to the compressor. Same thing, downward arrow, you go into dynamics, compressor and select mono. What's nice about Logic's compressor is you've got so many different styles of compressors. You can literally click through to see which one sounds best for your vocals. I did this and I realised this one for me sounded the greatest. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex, I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks, moving homes, I was stressed. You can hear the vocal and what it's done. What um, compression does is just squash your vocals. Again, it just sounds nice. You know, when you're trying to get that clean mix, this is what the compressor is trying to do. So, when you first play it, this is what it'll sound like. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep. And you can see both lines here are aligned. There's nothing kind of, there's no reducing, uh, there's no gain reduction happening at, at any point because there's no compression that's on. Now, looking at this again can be very daunting. Where do you start? First thing to do is we are going to select a specific uh, threshold. For our vocals all that means is it's just the amount that we're going to let through before it starts compressing our vocals okay you don't want to let through too much because there's no point of doing that it's not really going to compress your vocals you want to be squashing your vocals from early on you want the compressor to be grabbing your vocals this is going to make sense in one moment okay so let's see on legs i'm on feet on crets i've got beats on deck i just made this beat like that i'm explicit i don't mean sex back in the day i was always on tracks moving home so i was stressed the way you assess if any compression is happening is by looking at this meter here at the moment i don't have any compression okay because this part here the ratio is set on one what the ratio is for every what that's saying that it's on on one it's saying for every one db remove one db you're not going to get any compression if we were to raise this up to about three to one which is where i usually have my vocals what that means is for every time it gets to three db you're going to reduce the vocal to one db compression by the way all that's doing is actually leveling leveling up and matching your higher frequency in your vocals and your lower frequency it's kind of bringing them up together so that you don't have some of your uh, vocals sounding loud, quiet, different ranges and so forth. It really just matches everything nicely. So we get that clean mix. So let's play and let's see if we start to get a difference in the line here. I can spray by stage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Okay. Yeah, I've got a big... That sounds very distorted. Nothing. We don't want anything to sound distorted. We don't want anything to sound too different. And that's because I've got it, the threshold at minus 40. Let's play around with it. I can spray by stage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cut breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like that. I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks, moving home, so I was So, to me, that's where it sounds right. There is a, a small level of compression happening at the moment, okay? We're going to go and set the attack time and the release time. The attack time is literally how quick the compression kicks in once it gets past your threshold that you've set. So the compression won't kick in until 
it reaches this threshold that you set okay you can't have it on zero the attack time it's, it does no comp it's not going to happen it's, it's going to be too quick and it's not going to sound nice the whole point of mixing is to keep your vocals as natural as possible but just to brighten them make them cleaner and tidy them up so let's um when you're rapping the attack time is going to be quicker than when you're singing so it's still gonna be quite quick. Let's say it. I just made this beat like that. I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks. Moving homes, I was stressed. I could spray by stage, I could spray on stage, I could spray on a set. That to me sounds about right. It's literally five, just about, like about six milliseconds. So it's gonna take, what that's saying is it's gonna take six milliseconds for this compressor to be activated once it reaches that threshold that makes sense it's not it's not that hard it's just going to take six milliseconds for it to kick in it's quite quick right milliseconds are really super quick now the release time all that is is how long the compression holds on to your vocals you don't want your um compression to just release so quickly it's not going to sound nice and mixed and clean okay and it also won't sound natural you want to make sure there's a nice smooth transition okay so again this is milliseconds and a good range to have a release is between 30 and 200 let's play it I'm keep up rest, just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex, I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on Yeah, that sounds good to me. So now, and the way I just assess it is kind of listening out for where, just when my vocals sound a little bit cleaner. So what we're going to do now is go into the knee, this circle here, right? The knee, if you have like a hard knee, which means you're setting it on zero, or 0.2 right it's literally it just means it's gonna as soon as it gets to your threshold that you set it's just gonna kick in straight away the compressor that's not gonna sound nice to your vocals it's just gonna go <clears throat> like literally like that your vocals are gonna sound i don't know just not quite right if we do a soft knee compression okay kind of more towards the right okay so let's say 0 0.7 or something like that or 0 0.6 okay a softer knee compression what that means is it's going to start compressing a little bit before it gets to your threshold which is going to be nice because it's going to slowly be easing into it right you don't want something just to be like oh I'm out of nowhere right that's just, it's not, not going to sound right so it just slowly gets there and it starts gradually progressing um compressing just before it gets to the threshold until it fully um compresses your vocals at that point so let's play it from zero and test it out i can spray by stage i can spray on stage i can spray on a set yeah i've got a big batty and a c-cup breast but i don't mean you could come keep up breast just know that i'm not just me on legs i'm on feet on crets i've got beats on deck i just made this beat like dex i'm explicit i don't mean sex back in the day i was always on tracks moving homes so i was stressed i can spray by stage i can spray on stage i can spray on a set yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex, I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks, moving homes, so I was stressed. I could spray by stage, I could spray on stage, I could spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex, I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks, moving homes. I was stressed. I can spray by stage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on a set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C-cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex. I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was always on tracks. So once I actually set my knee, I realised I had to go back to my threshold and lower it so that the compression kicks in earlier, as I said at the start, okay? And what you want to do at the start as well is turn off auto gain so that it helps with your mix then you can put on auto gain in a moment i'll explain what that is okay so what what i've done now is allowed my vocals to be captured earlier so the compression is coming in and you can see on the meter compression is occurring around minus six db of compression is really good for vocals if you just remember minus six you will, that will make a big difference in your vocals overall, in every mix. You want to keep your level overall when you've mixed everything to about minus 6 dB, no higher, okay? It just makes sure it's not clipping, what that means, like distorting, okay? 
so i've realized there's some some um compression happening this is the input so that's what it was and you can start to see in this meter that it started to lower let me play it i can spray backstage i can spray on stage i can spray on the set yeah i've got a big batty and a c cup breast but i don't mean you can come keep up breast so right now we're getting about minus four db which is great i'm, I'm happy i'm happy with how it sounds now remember i was talking about this auto gain makeup and auto gain go hand in hand i'll tell you what i mean by that you can either use this one or this one it's going to make up some of the levels that you've got rid of okay so you can increase the makeup of it to make it sound kind of louder almost okay um here using this part here slowly or you can automatically do it with auto gain and select minus 12. let's just play with both let's see what happens let's start with the makeup first i can spray backstage i can spray on stage i can spray on the set yeah i've got a big batty and a c cup breast but i don't mean you can come keep up rest just know that i'm not just meat on legs i'm on feet on crets i've got beats on deck i just made this beat like dex i'm explicit i don't mean sex back in the actually it sounded bell just uh 1.5 db so let's bring that back to zero and show you what it'll sound like with the gain i can spray backstage i can spray on stage i can spray on the set yeah i've got a big batty and a c cup breast but i don't mean you could come keep up breast just know that i'm not just meat on legs i'm on feet on crets i've got beats on deck for me personally i didn't like the auto one i was happy with what i had set at 1.5 i can spray backstage i can spray on stage i can spray on the set yeah i've got a big batty and a c cup breast so i'm happy with that that's where it sounds great you can add a limiter to your vocals here. So again, it will just limit your vocals once it gets to a particular threshold that you've set it to. You can add distortion. I never use this. To me, none of them sound right. You've also got the option, by the way, to decide how much of your actual vocal unmixed you want in this compression. I usually would just leave it kind of 100% compressed. But you could play around with this. To me, that sounds better having 100% of the compressed vocal coming through as opposed to some of my actual unmixed vocal coming through. It just sounded a lot better. I think that's all you need to know for compression. So let's play it. Let's see what it sounds like. I can spray backstage, I can spray on stage, I can spray on the set. Yeah, I've got a big batty and a C cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. I just made this beat like Dex. I'm explicit, I don't mean sex. Back in the day, I was. Okay, so that's that's really cool. And let's play it without the compressor and EQ. I've got a big batty and a C cup breast, but I don't mean you could come keep up breast. Just know that I'm not just me on legs, I'm on feet on crets, I've got beats on deck. Yeah, you can automatically hear the difference in that it's muddy it's got the lower end coming through it's got it just doesn't sound as clean as it would when it's eq'd and compressed that's all i'm going to go through i think you've learned i've given you a lot of information at once that i kind of wish i knew starting out it took me a lot of hours of research and stuff so i hope you found this useful don't be scared of using technology that's that was one of my biggest fears you can learn everything it just takes a bit of time subscribe if you've enjoyed it i've got more coming the next one's going to be on bouncing a track so just turning it to mp3 thank you very much for watching it should go last up